Um, we're going to be looking at group seven. Uh, periodicity, this is tends to be OCR unit uh, one. Um, does that like it? Uh, let's have a nosy. Okay, so, so what we got here, we got his little blue pen. Right. A student used the internet to research chlorine and some of its compounds. He discovered that seawater contains chloride ions. The student added aqueous silver nitrate to a sample of seawater. What would the student see? Okay, this is this is this is a, an interesting way of, of asking a question about the test for group sevens. The test for group sevens are silver ions. I'm just going to pop that there. Ag plus as does silver ions. The reason why it's a test um, for all intents and purposes, all nitrates are soluble. Um, so silver nitrate is soluble but silver ions when they're added to chloride ions so here we've got it in seawater it forms silver chloride AgCl AgCl is insoluble so what will the student see? the student would see you could turn around and see a white solid um, or this is horrible writing. I've just got to get used to it. White solid, uh, or, or a white, and it's got to be white, or a white, or a white precipitate, PPT precipitate. Okay. So the next bit, write an ionic equation, including state symbols for the reaction that occurred. This, although it sounds, you got to kind of get used to it. Um, an ionic equation. What it's asking for is. How do you make the precipitate? How do you make the silver chloride? So we've got two marks. The first one's for the reaction. So what we're doing is we're making silver chloride, AgCl. Now, I kind of threw that one in um, over here um, because it's kind of, it sticks in my head. But we'll look at where I got AgCl from as well. We said it was a precipitate. We said it was a white solid. So we'll put a little state something solid over here. And how do we make this? I'm not interested in the chloride ions or whatever other ions are in there. I'm only interested in the formation of silver chloride. So, silver is Ag+, plus, something you have to memorise. And what we're going to add to it the chloride ions. Group 7 Cl-. And that will get you one mark. We're not interested, no, I, I just said it before, we're not interested in the nitrate over here, the silver nitrate. We're only interested in the ions that make up silver chloride here. Ag plus, the silver ion here, was in the form of silver nitrate before we added it to the chloride ions. This is in solution in seawater, this is Aq. Um, the chloride ions in seawater over here, this is Aq. These two aqueous solutions. Okay. After carrying out the test in one, the student added dilute aqueous ammonia to the mixture. What would the student see? Okay, so what happens is, um, the thing to remember, is when you have silver chloride, it's got to be aqueous ammonia. If you add dilute aqueous ammonia, uh, the precipitate, you could turn around and say dissolves, so the PPT. PPT the precipitate dissolves. Um, yeah, you can also describe it in other ways. You can turn around and say it disappears, disappears. If I can spell disappears, um, I think I might need two P's in there, but I'll get the idea of, of, of the fact that it goes clear. Right? Okay. The student also dissolved. That chlorine, oh god, no, the, student also dissolved. the student also discovered that chlorine is used in large scale treatment of water. State one benefit of adding chlorine to water. Okay, um, I would say, so we'll go back, that chlorine is really toxic and it kills, uh, we use a bacteria. Right? If you're not doing A level biology, you could even say it kills germs, um, but 
your 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 terminology your 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 aim is to describe the fact that it's killing the nasties kills bacteria microorganisms um and if you're again not not a, not not a biologist you could even turn around and say it makes the water safe to drink so i've taken my time on that one because there are some students who don't do other sciences all right not everyone agrees that chlorine should be added to drinking water Suggest so one possible hazard of adding drink of uh, adding chlorine to drinking water. Okay. Again, the number of things you could write. Um, it's not. It's not nice. It's toxic. But right, it's not nice. It's toxic. It's it, like poisonous. Um, poisonous. That will do. Okay. Let's uh, let's get rid of. Uh, this pen. Control. Oh, no, I've changed to pink. That's really good. Uh, actually, I think what I might do is just switch this 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 part off and do another video. Um, no, no, there I go. I'm fine. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna scroll down to. Um, press escape to get out of zoom it uh, the equation for the reaction of chlorine with water is shown below uh, Cl2 ra 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 state the oxidation number of chlorine in so let's get back to this pink wearing pink I like pink I don't know if it'll come up but let's say state the oxidation number of chlorine so in Cl2 it's a molecule it's not an ion so it's zero now HCl, well we know H is, uh, we should know H is H plus, uh, chlorine is Cl minus, so here the oxidation state is minus one. Now here HClO, bear with me a second, I'm going to get back to this question. 